happier now. There's two cranes available. It's about six in the morning. We're anticipated to be here until six o'clock tomorrow morning. So we have a 24 hour stay over. So we'll definitely get to go to shore here. So that worked out really nice. Okay guys, today we are doing slops. We're pumping sludge today. Right here is our discharge valve. We're up on the upper deck here in Bremerhaven. Here's the sludge barge. So in the end room, we just open up a couple valves. And it's all in one storage tank. And then it gets discharged right here. In about a couple more hours, be about 1500, we're gonna head out to shore. So we'll make a little video when we get off the ship, have a little shore leave before we go back to the States. Hey guys, so I got off the ship now. And I'm gonna go to the mall. There's a lot of nice food down that area. And what I'm doing, you might see the video moving a little bit. Uh, I'm right next to a car carrier here. Uh, I'm gonna ride down to the mall area downtown. Instead of walking or taking a cab, I'll just have a nice bike ride. It's a beautiful day outside, so why not, right? And at the German Siemens Center here in Bremerhaven, you can rent uh, a bike with a, you just put a deposit down, uh, but it's free service. Just give a deposit and it's returned when you bring the bike back. So I'm gonna go down to an area, it's called the Columbus Mall. Uh, the video that we posted before from Bremerhaven, Germany, uh, it shows the mall. It's uh, footage from the mall. So you can check that out. And the other night we were in uh, Antwerp, Belgium. I made a really nice video walking tour of the, the downtown everywhere. So check that video out as well. So we're just gonna take a nice ride here and then we'll come back later and we'll show a little bit uh, wherever I end up walking in town here. So we'll be back in just a little bit. I wanna put the camera away and have a nice little bike ride. Okay, so here's the mall right up here. Just to the left of this tall building, which is really cool. Conference center there, but the building to the left is the Columbus Center Mall. So we're gonna park right over here. Um, we'll park the bike. And then we'll go inside the mall. There's a nice restaurant here. I've eaten it before. The food is really, really good. It's called Lloyd's. Really good food. And here's the bike park. And then we'll enter the mall right up those steps right there. Okay, here's the parking for the mall. This is where we came from right here. And if you walk up on the top of that grass hill, there's a long pathway you can walk. And it goes along the seaside. It's a nice place to take a walk. So I'm gonna walk up in here and go to the entrance to the mall. Okay guys, look up the steps here. So this is just a little video we're gonna show uh, when we get to go ashore. And Germany is the last port that we stop in Bremerhaven before we head back to USA. So we wanna make the most of this day. And hey, it's a beautiful day. Great weather out here. So we got really lucky today, guys. So we're just gonna go in the mall, pick up a couple things, get some nice food, and just relax a little while. And then we'll head back and get a good night of rest later. And we're gonna leave at 0600, six in the morning, and head back to the USA. The total uh, crossing of the ocean will be about eight days. And we'll be back there, east coast of the United States, port of Norfolk, Virginia. So let's go inside the mall. Wait for the revolving door. It turns by itself though. It's a self-rotating revolving door. Okay, here we are inside. Now there's a small mall here. 
And again, guys, I'm not gonna show it off because it's uh, right here, entrance. Uh, I already have a video posted, Bremerhaven, in Germany, and I show inside the malls and everything, so there's no need to show all that again. Rather, this is just a little vlog of uh, a day off the ship. We're just having fun today. Just show a little bit of uh, what we're doing here, hanging out. So we're gonna go up here and we're gonna cross over the road to the bigger side. And here we go. This is the, the crossover to the other side, the big mall, the Columbus Center. And you can see the sign over there, the blue sign that says Columbus Shopping Center. Over there, the blue sign. Some nice boats along the waterway. This is a nice place to eat here. And here's another place I like to eat sometimes. North Sea. They have uh, a lot of fish. You can get whatever different kind of fish you like. And it's really, really good. And uh, I've eaten there before and I enjoyed it. And uh, I forgot what kind of fish I ate, but it was not too bad. I would go again. And there's some other restaurants in town that I've been to that are not near here that are nice. A lot of good food here. And at the seaport, it's really easy to come down here and shop and get pretty much anything that you could possibly need. So it's a nice place for us to go. It's really close by. Cafe. Here's a nice candy shop. Everybody likes the German chocolates. There's another store in the mall who has a big, huge section of German chocolate that I usually go and get chocolates there. Another nice restaurant. They serve uh, like Italian and pizza and things like that. And here's Rossman, like anything you need, like uh, similar would be like Walgreens in USA, like a drugstore for things like that. Anything you need for bathroom products, stuff like that. Everything. So it's actually really nice. So I go there a lot. Body care. It's a nice bookstore. In USA we have um, Barnes & Noble. But they have a nice bookstore here. It's really nice. Here's a section of pretty much different countries. Books that you want to know if you're going to another country. So they have everything in there. Oh, it's similar to Barnes & Noble or Border Bookstore in USA. Here's the market, discount market. It's like a food market and everything up here. They have everything. Uh, Bremerhaven also has a 24-hour food market that a lot of people like to go to. You can get off the ship um, later in the evening and still go here 24 hours a day. To the 24 hour market. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go out back and I'm gonna go outside and get some fresh air, 
just a little food court in here. And um, go out and take a walk down the street. There's some uh, Asian food here, Fond Asia. Hey guys, so we're in another revolving door. Self activated. So. Okay, now we're outside and it feels so good outside. This is the, it's a busy street here. Um, shopping all down here. Everything, food, a lot of shopping stores. So, um, once again, check out the Bremerhaven video that we posted uh, close to a year ago. And you'll see all of this uh, area, this part of the town. And uh, anybody from the area, please let us know in the comment section down below some other spots to check out here. And I'll be back in 35 more days. And uh, I'd love to do some footage. Uh, if anybody can recommend some other areas to do. Um, so anyway, but I'll be back here in 35 more days. So this is just a little the shopping district here, and it's really nice. Electronic store, Saturn. I went in Poland and I bought a really nice wireless Bluetooth speaker and I believe it was the same store. I'm not 100% sure, but we're going to go inside and check this out. Okay, yeah, I believe this is the same store that I saw in Poland. It looks pretty much the same. Or Turkey, I can't remember, but I've seen this store looks really familiar. Yeah, maybe Poland or Turkey. Maybe somebody knows who's watching the video. Okay, I asked uh, one of the employees. He said it's not in Turkey, so maybe I saw this store in Poland. I think Poland. He said it's not a German store. But then again, maybe he didn't understand me. So it's a two floor. This is like Best Buy in USA. They have everything here, really cool. Check it out, Saturn. Okay, guys, so that's Saturn. We'll go back outside now. Okay, so now we're leaving in, uh, I think it's like a little street market over here. We'll take a look at that real quick. And uh, this European stay, we've really got lucky. Um, definitely check out the video when uh, Antwerp, Belgium, it was a beautiful night there. And uh, not only that, that's an awesome city. And I think you guys will really like the video. Um, I just want to record uh, these places I go, you know. Instead of just walk around, I try to record so I can share. Um, these are really nice places to visit. Yeah, there's a walking little market here. Looks like a lot of cloves. Actually, fabric. I see a lot of fabric. So maybe that's what they're focusing on. And a nice restaurant here. Theater. And here's a restaurant. Yeah, it's looks like mostly fabric. Or maybe seamstress or whatever. Not sure what this is it looks like a, some type of theater uh, maybe they have a, some shows I'm not sure the show times but uh, some type of theater and this is looking back down the street you can see the tall cathedral back there which is also in the other video it's really nice so we're gonna walk back that way too okay, this building here this building is uh, a museum Just continue walking here a little bit. Last video, I did not walk this way. Looks like there's some more food over here, so we'll check that out too. Yeah, 
Here's the Luna food and cocktail. The colors and the name Luna leads me to believe could be Spanish style. Uh, however, I'm not sure. And uh, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Another place to eat over here and drink. Have a cocktail or a beer. And this is the Cinema Motion. This is the theater in town. Want to see a movie? Right here. Someone on the third, fourth story or third story has a bird cage outside. I'm sure that bird is enjoying himself on a nice day out here. And right behind me is the beautiful cathedral. In the other video, we show it from the front side. Uh, just to the left here is the busy, the shopping road where we were a little bit ago. But I'm in the back in the side of the church now. And uh, it's peaceful back here. So I'm just going to walk back here. And then I'm gonna go find something to eat, guys. And then just walk around a little bit more. This video is just for fun. There's no specific topic here. Just hanging out in Bremerhaven, Germany. I stopped in the cafe and I got a nice cappuccino. I'm gonna try that. And then we're gonna go try some food somewhere. Alright, so we're gonna try it out here. It's really, really good. So we're gonna drink this and then we're gonna go look for some place to eat lunch and we'll check that out. Okay guys, so I found a German restaurant that has a menu also in English. And I will try to order uh, a fish sandwich and uh, have a cold beer while I'm relaxing. And then I will go take a bike ride. So we're gonna try to order here in a minute and we'll check it out after we get the food. Okay, so I've ordered uh, a fish sandwich here, and also one of the Pilsner beers here. So I want to try one of these. I haven't had this before. So I just placed my order, and we'll eat shortly. So here's my Pilsner. Looks delicious. So we'll try that out. It's really good. It has a nice refreshing taste to it. So, not bad. So, pretty soon we'll have the food and we'll try that. Okay, guys, so I received my food. It's a fish burger, a Pollock, and it has a salad underneath. And a really nice big sized piece of fish. And we're going to try it out. And then we're going to go back on the bike and take a ride. Guys, let's take a try here. It's so big. I'm trying to figure out how to hold this without dropping it. Let's try it out. Mm. Mm. It's delicious. With the arugula on it. And I believe an aioli sauce. And it's not dry at all. The fish is delicious and it's juicy and it's very, very hot. So this is a very, very good sandwich that I would order again. So it's very good, very delicious. And also comes with a, a sauce here you can dip. And 
plenty of fries also. And they're very good, good as well. So overall, this is a really good meal. I'm, I'm happy with it and it's a reasonable price. And you're sitting right outside and it's a beautiful day. So right on the water here. So guys, we're gonna eat and then we're gonna go on from there. We're gonna take a little bike ride and we'll check out a little bit more of the town. And we'll be back in a little bit. Guys, this is where I had my lunch right here. So if you're ever in Bremerhaven, I highly recommend this restaurant. It was really, really good. And I will probably come back next month when I'm in town and order again. I'll try something different. So it was delicious. Um, so now we're going to go back to my rental bike and I will try to ride to a different part of town and we'll just take a little more footage there. So anyway guys, we're going to walk over there. And again, I parked right next to the mall. And uh, this is just a vlog here of my day in Bremerhaven, Germany. I've spent probably about 100 days here in my lifetime. And I love this town. It's a nice place to go. But uh, I'll definitely go back there and have lunch maybe again next month. I just want to try some other food. Because if everything else they have is that good, uh, you know, I really want to try some more. Uh, I wasn't super hungry, so I just got a sandwich and it was huge. So, more than really what I wanted. But it was so good that I did eat it all. Now we're gonna go over here and we'll continue. Uh, I'm gonna walk up some steps here and then we'll be back in just a little bit. We're gonna go try to find uh, where I parked my bike over here. Okay guys, now we're above the city. We took an elevator up high into the very top of the hotel. There's an observation area. And now we're looking down at the Columbus Mall from Ariel. Right there. That's the cathedral in the background behind the white building. And here's part of the mall right down here. Beautiful view from having from way up high. So we'll take a look outside too. We'll check that out. We just go over here. Door opens automatically and there's an outside observation. We'll be able to see also where the ships are docked from here. Uh, a beautiful view. So let's go check it out. Okay, so if you look straight out there, you can see the, the cranes. That's the terminal where the ships are. That's where we came from. That's where the ship is docked. Right over there to the left, right on the water. A little windy, so I'm just trying to hold my camera behind uh, the window here. So this is a beautiful view of uh, Bremerhaven, aerial view. So I hope you enjoy this one. There's the restaurant where I had lunch, right down there in the center of the picture. Okay, so now we're gonna walk on the other side. And you can see like a little beach here. It's a beautiful view up here. Looks like a little beach. Maybe in the summertime. Okay guys, now we're gonna make it to the very top. I think it's 147 meters, I'm not sure, but uh, somewhere around that. Okay, I just asked one of the gentlemen I rode up with and he said yes, it is 147 meters up here. So because of how high we are guys, it's definitely a little windy. But we'll take one more shot here all around the city. Bremerhaven from 147 meters. Beautiful day. Okay, so let's take one more look on this side. Of course, they have a tall 
you know, safety here. There's the beach again. You can hear it from the video, but the church bells are ringing in the cathedral back there. And that cathedral, that's on the busy shopping road where we were walking a little while ago. That big uh, brown cathedral right there, which is right behind them all. And underneath that big white building and all that to the right of it, that's all the Columbus Mall where we were walking around a little while ago. So guys, that's the Bremer Hobbit from uh, Ariel. Hope you enjoyed that. We're gonna head back down. And then we're gonna go for a little bike ride while we still have some sunlight. You guys, so that was really awesome. We're gonna head down now. You go down to this observation, and then we'll go back inside where we were before, where the elevator is. And then we'll head back down to the ground floor. And my bike is right across the street there. So we'll continue from there. Just a little bit more to go here. There's the entrance to where the elevator is. So we're gonna to go to the ground floor now. That's what we just did right there. This is where we just were, guys. All the way up there. So let's go get the bike. Okay. Right down on the bottom of the steps and across the street, that's where I have the bike, and this restaurant here, uh, I tried it a couple years ago, not bad at all. I sat right outside on the water, and uh, it wasn't bad, it was really good food. So the bike is right over here, let's go get it. And one last look of where we just were, all the way on the top there. And I was really lucky that there was a rental bike left today. Otherwise, I would have to be riding in a cab somewhere. It's a lot, a lot to walk. So here's the rental bike. And it has a little generator. So you have a headlight and a tail light for nighttime and a basket. It's very comfortable. So let's hop on and go. Okay, so we're riding down the street here. That's probably why you hear a little bit of wind. bit of footage. Okay guys. Good. Philippine karaoke bar. Sitting at a red light so take a little shot of this. Waiting for the light to go green. Got a designated bike. designated bike trail. So in just a moment we'll be up to another busy road and we'll continue there. Not much to see here on this block. Okay then that's the intersection up here is where we're gonna go. So maybe we'll park walk a little bit just so you can see. It's another busy street with shopping, things like that. Some of the buildings look pretty neat. I haven't been up here for a few years. So we'll just take a little quick look at it. Here's my shadow. That's me, guys. Uh, we're gonna just ride the bike down the street here and take a view. Be a little bumpy. It's nice on the side of the road to have a little bike lane you can just ride here. It's safe that way. You can see the nice looking buildings. It's nice looking. I figured it might just be a little quicker to ride. 
ride the bike down the street and see more quickly that way. There's another market right here. It's a nice little market. Some nice grill. Let's see some of the nice the way they build the things here. It's nice looking. So we're going to head on back. I'm going to head on back where I started, where I got the bike. From the German Siemen Center. And uh, it's going to be going down soon. I'm going to watch where I'm going here. I might let their door wide open. So I'm going to go back to the German Siemen Center. And I will show that for just a moment before we end this video. So, like I said, this video doesn't have a topic. I'm just hanging out on my day off the ship. You know, uh, we had some time off and it's always nice to go out. So, just showing a little bit of what I do on my day off. Nothing special. And uh, we'll take a look at the German Siemens Center in just a minute. Here's a little tavern. You can see the cool architecture. It's nice looking buildings here. Looks like they're pretty old. I don't know how old, but it looks very old. Kababayan. It's the Philippine karaoke bar, guys. A lot of people like to go there and relax on their time off too. a little pub. There's a couple markets here. I'm gonna stop on the way back at the 24-hour market and get a couple things because they have everything there. And uh, there's one market right up here, or Neto or Nito, whatever they call it. Just past there, turn left, is the 24-hour market. Well-known place. Like I say, 24 hours. A lot of times people come in off the ship and it's a little late. They just want to get a few things that they need. Well, they can go there anytime, even if other things are closed. So it's really convenient. So we're going to go right up there. And from there, we will get back to the German Siemens Center relatively quick. For our market, where we're going to park the bike and lock it up in the back and we'll walk in from there. Okay, so here it is, guys. Open 24 hours. So we're gonna walk in. The bike is back in its place, locked up. It's the Dutch, I mean the German, I'm sorry, Siemens Center. It opens daily from 1500 hours, which is 3 p.m. until I think 11 o'clock, 10 or 11. There's some billiard table. Outside you can play basketball. There's a, a container thing that you can climb up to the top of and get a nice view of the port, which is right over here. That's where our ship is docked. You can sit outside, enjoy yourself. There's a small chapel. And a nice little garden area to sit in. Sorry, it's a little dark. It's a nice relaxing place. So we'll just relax here for a little bit until it's time to go back to the ship. And uh, right over here, you can wait if it's bad weather, the little indoor place. And there's a button you push, which will activate the shuttle. And they will come pick you up and take you back to the pier. Okay guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for hanging out and just going around with me on my day off in Bremerhaven, Germany. Uh, just a moment, we'll go back to the ship and uh, get some rest for the night. Um, so thanks for watching the video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. We'll be posting lots more ship related videos. And also this summer, Matthew and I will be going on lots of road trips. So we're going to be posting a lot more. So give us a thumbs up and a like if you enjoyed this video. And we will see you in the next video.